Hey guys, welcome back to YouTube. Thank you so much for being here. So right now I'm about to watch Watchmen. This is episode eight. This show is amazing and extremely intense, but so very, very well done. And just, this is, I gotta say, this is probably one of the best shows I've ever seen. It's that, it's that good, it's that well done. It is not easy to watch, and I know I've said that before. It isn't, it's, it's a very intense show, but um, it's, it's just expertly done. It's, it's incredible. So this episode is called A God Walks Into A-Bar. Hmm, so a god literally walks into Angela A-Bar. It could be like a god walks into a bar, but it's A-Bar. <laughs> Angela's mysterious past in Vietnam is at last revealed. Okay, so we're gonna be finding out some things here that I was a little confused about in the last one. So we're gonna get some revelations going on here, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for coming back week after week to watch my content. I'm very, very grateful for all of your support. It means the world to me. Please uh, leave comments on this video. Let me know if you like it. Let me know how, what, let me know what you thought about this show in particular, I, I, I would love to know. And um, yeah, if you like my reaction, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, a like. I know I don't usually say that anymore, but I thought I might reintroduce that back into my videos. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for being here. Let's watch it. Watchmen, this is episode eight. Here we go. John, you're not yourself. Uh, like, this is what's crazy. My name right is here. not John. So, wait a minute, John? Oh, I just got this. Is that Dr. Manhattan? Holy cow. Whoa, okay. Wow, all along I thought it was the woman, the scientist woman. Oh my gosh, okay, so is that? Yeah, I think that's Dr. Manhattan, John. So is she, so she's John's girlfriend, wife, Angela? Wow, okay, this is nuts, man. Dr. Manhattan. So he was hit. Oh my god. So his his brain shit was being hidden in her husband's head the whole time. Her fake husband. This is crazy. I hope this is Dr. Manhattan. A god walks into a bar. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> There's a blue guy sitting in the bar. Oh, so is this, so they met in Vietnam. Is this Vietnam? I think it is. Yeah, it is. And she's a cop in Vietnam. Look at that. If I can guess why you're here drinking all alone, will you let me join you? Wait, isn't sure. that the why voice of... You're commemorating the anniversary of your parents. Yaya Abdul-Mateen. Isn't that the, his voice? but I didn't tell you yet. Then how did you already know? I'm Dr. Manhattan. Obviously. <laughs> Is this a Zeus thing? A Zeus thing? He came down from Olympus trying to get laid, but he turned himself into a swan or something to blend in. Ah, that's a good story. It's a decoy so that people think it's you on Mars. Exactly. Then where have you been for the past 20 years? On Europa. It's a moon of Jupiter. On Europa. Oh, that Europa. <laughs> that Europa. The way I experience time is unique, and for you particularly infuriating. That said, I am simultaneously in this bar having a conversation with you and on Europa creating life. Wow. Primordial ocean transmutes into a liquid creation engine. Wow. I step out onto the amniotic lake. A hatchery stocked with miracles. Finn, oh, wind, and I wound. love Dr. Manhattan. Do you walk on water? Do you walk on water? <sighs> well, the entire process is complete in approximately 90 seconds. Typical. I'm sorry? <laughs> a man creating life in under two minutes. <laughs> oh, a sex joke. It's funny. <laughs> All of the bums, the bare bums. Just wondering why you zapped a house across the galaxy when you can make one yourself? That <laughs> makes sense. Good question. I wander the hallways of this strange place. 
will be years before I study the electromagnetic spectrum of infrared light. But I can't help but wonder if I've become invisible. Oh, you're not invisible. Oh, he grabbed some apples. That was smart. In 1936, parents do not talk to their children about sex. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I have no idea what I'm seeing or hearing. Right. This is the first time I know love. Uh, oh, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> Hello, John. Hello. Hans, might we talk to John in private? We like to get to know all the children during their stay here. Aren't they a married couple, though? Why does it matter that they were making out? Or maybe they're not a married couple. What you witnessed was a good thing. Okay, good. We were creating a life. Oh, good. John, this is for you. The Holy Bible. Long after, when you, you grow into a man in America, make it your purpose to create something beautiful. Will you do that for us, John? Right. Oh, ha, ha, ha. You have friends? Perhaps he's more of a colleague. He tried to kill me once. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, Angela. So, there's no moment when you realize, oh, I'm in love. For example, I'm looking at you, hiding behind your mask, mm -hmm. and I'm having the opposite of that moment. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You might be pretty good looking if you didn't cover yourself in blue makeup. <laughs> but you have made a critical error in your approach. I hate Dr. Manhattan. What? A little boy watches his village burn. Boy grows up, becomes a puppeteer because he wants to hold the string. Oh, right. Oh, God. But eventually, we're going to have to go out in public. So how are you going to pull that off, Doc? Actually, you've come up with a rather elegant solution to the problem of my appearance. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whatever form I take is the one you should be comfortable with. Dude, I know I know who it's going to be. Yep, there he is. There he is. You sound different. My vocal cords loosened in the transformation. Shall I adjust them back? No, uh, I'm good. Oh, she's totally in love from first sight. Oh my God, I love them. And he's always been in love with her, he said. Oh. Forgot your thing. I'm going to forget so much more. He's going to forget so much Conversation more? Conversation for another time. So he has to forget by becoming another body, another person? How long are we together? 10 years. Well, that seems manageable. I'll still be young. I can fall in love again. How does it end? Tragically. Oh, no. That's, well, of course, we know, we know how it ends. I told you the very first night we met, knowing that it would lead to this argument. We are not in an argument. We're close. And now you say, don't, don't tell, tell me, me what I'm going to fucking say. say. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Uh -uh. Was your childhood not filled with the constant fear that you would never have a family? Don't you date Because yours was taken away from you? Stop. Here comes the fight. Because if you know everything that's going to happen, what is there to be afraid of? I agree. What is there to risk? I agree. Good question. My God, look at his body. Wow. That's incredible. He has the body of a God, like what I would think a God's body would look like. Sorry, I don't mean to be um, reacting 
over his body. I just uh, find it a little distracting. <laughs> I don't know, sorry. He's a very, very beautiful man. Oh my God, he's fully naked. How did you know it was me? Because only Dr. Manhattan would have the balls to show up here wearing nothing but his birthday suit. <laughs> How long has it been? For you, 24 years, 41 days, and 13 hours. For me, it's happening right now. Yes, yes, I remember. But can't, doesn't John know what a crazy guy this guy is, though? Like You've just attempted to destroy me. Thank you. Yes, he does. I'm telling you that I'm disappointed in you. Right? Yes, he does. Sorry about that. Sorry about that? How do you know I was on Europa? A little elephant told me. What I don't know is why a blue man is masquerading as a human. Though I might venture an educated guess. What's her name? <laughs> What's her name? Yeah. Angela Abar. You don't just want to look like a mortal. You want to be one. Why can't you do it yourself? You tell me, Adrian. Because you have a profound lack of imagination. I got to give it to you, man. You have a fantastic imagination. Ah. Oh. And how long would it take for you to make this device? Oh, my dear sweet John. I made it 30 years ago. Oh, wow. Do you know what is inside this? Actually, I don't. Because I irradiated it with tachyon particles, one small part of the universe even you can't see. Wow, so John spot. can't even see that. He can't see that blind spot for him. A for amnesia. A for amnesia. Oh, so this is how he loses his memory? So if you have any business to finish, now would be the time to finish it. It's okay. Well, you still know you are you. Interesting. Okay. Well, there's one thing that I'd like in exchange. Will I live to see my utopia? Yes. Oh, wow. And I did it, Adrian. I did it on Europa. Yes, you did. Would you like me to send you there, Adrian? Oh, that's where he goes, okay. Yes, John. Makes sense, okay. Now I recognize the land and I recognize the two actors. Those are the ones that he makes many clones out of. Can be a cop anywhere. How about Toth? So this is how they leave Vietnam. My memories may be lost, Angela. But you won't be losing me. Okay, you're losing me, man. Oh, I love this. This is such an amazing love story. You said you can create life. Create some life right now. That's it? It is technically life. A chicken would have been better. <laughs> a chicken would have been better. I don't want kids. I've never wanted kids. And I'm never gonna have kids. So, sorry, Doc. You're gonna have to find another egg to knock up. Oh, you end up having children, Angela. Maybe not biological, but you certainly end up having children. There's a period of time I cannot see. When I try to look, there's only darkness. All I know is that you are there before it begins and you are there when it ends. That's because he puts that, she puts that chip in his head so he can't remember, he loses all of his memories. Just sounds a lot like a tunnel. The tunnel of love. The tunnel of love. You wanna get down on one knee? Uh... The people here, they're bad people. They know who you are. Oh my God. You need to change back. 
No. I need to move forward. Wait, what? Oh, God. There were two of them. One of them was about to shoot me in the kitchen, but you zapped him away. Without the awareness of your abilities, you wouldn't know how to use them. Oh, wow, look at that. Except perhaps as a reflex. As a reflex. Oh, it makes sense. As a reflex in life-threatening situations. Would you excuse me for a moment, please? Uh oh, uh oh, oh, wait, is he upstairs with them? What's going on? Look! He looks like Cal. That's because he is. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Wait, the kids are gone. What is he doing? They're with your grandfather. What? They're at the Dreamland Theater in downtown Tulsa right now. It's all right. Your grandfather was expecting them. When did you talk to my grandfather? Oh. Mr. Reeves. Hello? My name is John Osterman. Is that supposed to mean something to me? Hmm. Aren't you supposed to be blue? I recently made some changes in my life. <laughs> in order to ensure an optimal outcome, I would like to form an alliance. An alliance. You want to team up with me? He wants to you team up with him. Put it justice. He is hooded justice, exactly. She wants your help. She doesn't even know I exist. That is because you choose to let her be ignorant to your existence. Exactly. She, in her life. she does want you in her life. Of course she does. I know the moment I first see her, I sense profound emptiness. I know because she says over and over again that she doesn't want a family, yet it is clear through her actions that it is all that she wants. Oh, God. She does want a family. She wants to know how you knew Judd Crawford was a member of Cyclops, and how you knew he had a clan rope hidden in his closet. How did you know? Who's Judd Crawford? Oh, God, he hasn't met Judd Crawford yet? He doesn't know who Judd Crawford is. What? But he does now. Oh, no. <gasps> no. No, no. Oh, no. Did I start all this? Oh, wow. The paradox. The paradox. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, ho, 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 God. What the hell are you doing? Making waffles. Watch the eggs. Oh, Angela. She knows who you are, too. So stop f***ing around. They're already here. Oh, God. On the back of the truck is a tachyonic cannon, which they will use to involuntarily teleport me and then destroy me. Oh, jeez. <gasps> so then let's f***ing stop them. We can't. Why? Why not? We can't stop them. There's nothing we can do. Why? Why can't you stop them? Why can't Dr. Manhattan stop them? I don't get it. In the bar the night we met, you asked me about the moment I fell in love with you. This is the moment? This is the moment. Oh my God. I just don't understand. He's Dr. Manhattan. How come he can't save himself? Oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, Angela, you need a bigger gun. I don't understand why he can't just teleport himself somewhere right now. Oh good, she got a bigger gun, thank God. You need an automatic rifle, Angela. Did she get hit? Oh my gosh, oh no, oh no. Oh! I don't want anything to happen to him. Why can't you just destroy the, those things? Why can't you just destroy those things? You were wrong. No, Angela. I wasn't. What? Wait. 
I'm sorry. No, why couldn't you just destroy those things? <laughs> so, we spend 10 years in the tunnel of love, and once we're out, something terrible happens? That's right. <sighs> By definition, don't all relationships end in tragedy? And will you have dinner with me tomorrow night? Why not? Good. My God, though, that's horrible, though. I mean, they got, it's great they got to have 10 amazing years together. Like, that is awesome, but. I just don't get it. I don't understand how he, Dr. Manhattan, could not save himself. It just makes no sense. He's like all powerful. How could this thing do that to him? It doesn't make sense at all. Like I'm, I'm very confused there. I just do not get that whatsoever. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Um, I just, I just don't. Yeah, it's, it's upsetting. I mean, I'm upset by it. I don't, it doesn't, I, I didn't, I, I just, I don't know. I didn't want Dr. Manhattan to die. And I wanted Angela and him to be together, you know? Anyways, oh, anyways, you guys, he is so amazing as Dr. Manhattan. His name is Yahya Abdul-Mateen, right? I'm pretty sure that's his name. He's just incredible. He's amazing. Um, Regina King is uh, so incredible. This, this show is fantastic. Um, I, I, I'm sad that the last episode is the next one, but I am looking forward to seeing the finale. It says season one finale, everything ends for real this time. Season one finale? Well, that means maybe they intended to make a season two. Well, where is it? Why haven't they made a season two of this show? They should. This show is so good. I love it. It's, like I said, I think this is this is probably one of the best shows I've ever seen. And I've seen some really good shows, but this is definitely one of them. All right, guys, thanks so much for being here to watch my reaction and review to Watchmen, the TV series. This is just fantastic, out, outstanding, incredible. This show won on my Patreon channel. So I often throw up things on my Patreon channel for people to vote on. And this won, Watchmen won. It won quite a while ago, and I'm finally getting around to watching it now, which is just, it's, I'm so glad I have. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for all of your support, and thanks for coming back and tuning in week after week. I appreciate all of you. If you ever want to connect, you can, you can find me over on LinkedIn. I'm there. I'm quite active on LinkedIn, and I'm, I'm on Instagram, too. I'm not as active on Instagram, but um, I'm also on Twitter if you guys want to come over there. I'm more active on Twitter than I am on Instagram. Okay, you guys, take care. Have a great day, great night, wherever you are. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.